Sun Nana. Sos na nok sua ka cima pelu. Man na nok. Man na nok angil. Ila mika. Nen nu tamu kaya wak tok cie na ayok pun. Yo. Sila na get kaya tok na tak ingon na nen nu kaya wak tok na kolam ni kop pun. Kista is right. Across the Arctic, people have been seeing more polar bears on land, in towns and villages. Why is this happening? What could be driving polar bears into unfamiliar territory? For people in Arctic communities, it may seem that polar bear populations are on the rise. However, most of the polar bear populations that scientists are tracking are declining. So there are fewer polar bears overall, but more bears coming into towns. Can climate science help us understand changes in polar bear movement? To answer this question, we should review a few things about polar bears. Polar bears mainly eat seals, and to hunt seals, they need sea ice. On the ice, they patiently wait to capture seals that come up to breathe. In many ways, the polar bear is like us. It's used to the rhythms of the season. In the fall, the ice forms, and once it gets thick enough, the bears can go out and hunt for seals. And then through the winter, the snow falls, and the ice moves around, and it's a good platform for them to live on. And then when spring goes into summer, the ice melts away, and the bears either have to go further north into the central Arctic or come ashore for a few months. But those rhythms are changing. There's changes occurring in the Arctic sea ice cover as there's more and more melt in the summer. And as a consequence, melt starts a lot earlier and the ice is gone and the ice is retreating further north. And in the fall, it freezes up later and later. Let's look at an example. Here are Ruth and Evelu. Every night at six o'clock, they go to their favorite restaurant to eat. They know that the restaurant will be open when they're hungry. For the polar bears, this is like heading out on the sea ice to capture a seal. Now imagine that when Ruth and Evelu go to the restaurant for dinner, the restaurant is closed. They have no access to the food inside. For polar bears, this is what happens when the sea ice is gone. Without their usual dinner, Evelu and Ruth are forced to look elsewhere for food. They wander around town looking for some alternative. Perhaps there is some food in the trash. The same happens to polar bears. Without sea ice, they are forced on land. The bears wander around, looking for food in unusual places. Often, they are attracted to human communities by the smells of meat and trash. As sea ice continues to melt earlier and freeze later, polar bears are forced to spend more and more time on land. So next time you see or hear about a polar bear wandering through town, remember that it would rather be out on sea ice.